Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you guys how to remove the center lights and the tail light from a Mazda CX-5. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the trunk. Trunk's open. Sweet. So, how do we take this bad boys off? There's some uh, access panels right here. And I like this little tool. Uh, it's pretty neat, pretty fancy. You just stick it in there and out it goes. So that's gonna give us access to the light there. And this little panel here. I might need two hands here. I do not. There it is. And that gives us access to our other light right there. And we're gonna remove this one as well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take off our lights and here are the replacements. They're a little damaged. So we're gonna replace them. All right, we're gonna start with these top ones and it's gonna use a 10 millimeter socket. So let's go ahead and put our socket in there and drive that one out. And same thing with this one here. Now our lights are going to come off. Let's go ahead and disconnect our lights from here. What it is is push down on this tab and pull. And same thing with this one here. There's two of them. Yeah. Same thing here. Push this light out. And grab it from the other end. Let's connect this one as well. Ah, there it is. All right, you can see it damaged here. Just gonna stick that in there. Alright, looking at this one here, it looks like it's going to take some screws on the side. So before we break this one, let me go ahead and I see that there's two little latches here. So let me go ahead and open up these little latches with a small flathead. Huh, nothing. the nether all right well it looks like you have to work this out it has little hooks on here on the inside bring it down so you can, so you can see it there it is so you just need to get a screwdriver i accidentally broke that one but it's all right you have that latch that latch uh essentially right here just slap back on here and I think this is for the other side um, there's no screws or anything anyway so now that that's off off comes our light so there it is here's the bad one put this one on the floor so we don't get it confused yep it is for that one so we can go ahead and put this new one Everything's nice and aligned in here. Cool. All right. So now we're gonna put that little plastic trim piece on there. All right. So there I have it in underneath the frame. I'm gonna just push it in here. Oh man, I'm gonna need maybe two hands. Lock it in and completely put this corner in. So yeah, 
there's a little hole right here where that little hook goes into place. So that's gonna slide in there first. There it is, and everything should follow. There it is. Golly, it's making that hard on myself. So there it is. We're gonna slap on this little cover. There's just a little piece I broke. Yikes. It's all right. down from the inside. Just make sure you know where you put them at. And there's the first one. All right. Then we're going to tie it down. But let's replace this one next. It's gonna be the same thing with this one. I'm gonna pop these open. And these up and then pry it out this is also one right here so you got to be careful not to break none of them so I think the best starting point is to start from here uh, I grabbed it down here and with a screwdriver pried this up so now I'm gonna pull this and then loosen this one here and then the next one so I think that's the best way to do it. Right, yeah, there it is. Came off easily. So now there's the tail light. All right, we're just gonna grab our replacement light. Bring this down. And just slap it into place. All right, we're gonna grab our little plastic trim. I'm just gonna start this way. So we're just gonna press this down and insert it. And there it is. So now we're gonna put the little clips back on. All right, there's both of the uh, covers back on. We're gonna put our nut right in here. All right, there it is. We're gonna hook up our lights. All right, all the lights are connected. Now we just gotta strap them down. Tails for the light bulbs and remove those three nuts from there. Alright, so there's three pigtails you gotta disconnect and three nuts you gotta take off. So after you do that, I'm not 
sure. Looks like it might be a screw. Looks like it might. Let me go ahead and pop this here. remove those nuts from inside you just pull back and there it is I'll leave the bad ones on the floor and there it is so now we're gonna grab a replacement and just it already comes with light bulbs and everything how sweet is that so did the other ones so it's gonna come with new light bulbs. So that this just slides right in there, just like so. There it is. So now we're just gonna mount it from the inside with these nuts right there. Then we're gonna plug these three pigtails in put our covers back on. This one did not have to be removed. We'll fix that right now. So then we have our main cover that we did take off. So let me go ahead and do that. Put those nuts back on and connect these three pigtails. All right, our light is secured. Pigtails are back into place. Now we're gonna get our cover and place it back into place. There it is. And that's how you change the tail lights on a Mazda CX-5. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.